Well, fierce fighting is reported in the rebel-held city of Slovyansk in eastern Ukraine. Yes, several deaths are reported since Ukrainian forces launched an assault Monday. It's the same city where rebels claim to have shot down a military helicopter last week, killing 14 government troops. Ukraine has stepped up its offensive against rebels in eastern Ukraine. Moscow denies claims by Kiev that it's fueling the violence by allowing fighters into Ukraine to side with the rebels. Meantime, Ukraine's government is denying an airstrike caused destruction at a building held by pro-Russian separatists in Luhansk. But the evidence seems to suggest otherwise. CNN's Diana Magne went to the scene of that attack. The bloody aftermath of a strike on the separatist headquarters in the heart of Luhansk. Five women killed, three men, officials say. Not fighters necessarily, more passers-by. The debris of normal life snuffed out. No chance against this sudden and powerful onslaught. This was the moment of impact. Separatists blame the Ukrainian Air Force. The Kiev government saying instead that a rebel missile had misfired. A munitions expert with CNN in Luhansk says damage to the tops of trees in the square next to the building strongly indicate fire from the air. The Ukrainians claim that this had nothing to do with a military aircraft which was circling overhead at the time of the attack. But from what we can tell, this looks like very heavy cannon fire from an aircraft strafing through this square. You can see there are a dozen or so craters just like this coming straight through this square and up the building. If this was an attempt by the Ukrainian Air Force to hit the separatist headquarters here, then it was a very accurate strike. The Prime Minister of the self-declared People's Republic of Luhansk says he hopes the attack will spur Russia's president to action. We appealed to Russia to send us peacekeepers, he says. I think after the whole world sees what happened to peaceful civilians in the centre of our town, they'll send them quicker. The Ukrainians said the plane was one of several lending support to a border guard base on the outskirts of town which had come under attack. On Tuesday when we visited, there was an eerie quiet. Border guards in charge of patrolling hundreds of miles of Ukraine's border with Russia, hiding inside their bullet sprayed base. Pro-Russian sympathizers who say they're locals loitering just around the corner, cradling brand new weapons. They call this an anti-terror operation, but that's wrong, says Oleg, who won't give us his last name. When they use the Air Force against peaceful people, it's wrong. Oleg says he'll don his fatigues if his friends ask him to. Locals dividing themselves between friend and foe in this deeply contested land. Diana Magne, CNN. Luhansk, Ukraine.